Uh, my uh, presentation is going to be in two parts. One is going to be uh, <coughs> a video because I decided I was going to up my game. Everybody seems to be having a video. <laughs> uh, but it's set up. So I've just taken a random video just for the effect. But it actually helps to set up my, the, the presentation itself. The other part will be on the whiteboard. And I'm hoping that it will be uh, a user-generated experience. I'm proposing an idea that I think uh, we might all find relevant and useful. But first, uh, the video. <coughs>
all around Lagos. But there was no way to quantify and measure and even do anything about it. So the idea for me, and this was done really almost on a parallel track to my main remit. But as Shino said on the first day, we're all about trying to solve problems. So in trying to solve this problem, I thought about creating an app, a tool, that enable you to take pictures of the building, have, have, and, and, and at the back end have a database that allows you to manage the processes so that the government can respond to it in advance. And it was very it was successful, we did a pilot, it went very well. But like most things in government, that's just where it has. But the, the, the idea itself has stayed with us. And some of the work I now do has to do with um, building apps for projects for development. So we have we've done some very interesting stuff. We've done one that enabled uh, indigenous monitor oil spills, right? Oil spills watch. So they have the tools. So the basic idea now is how the, how does that actually impact the conversation I'm about to have with you? Um, two things. One, problem solving. How do we solve a problem that I think I have identified? And the problem I think is also what uh, Kathy was echoing a while ago. So how do we continue these conversations? How do we stay in touch? How do we learn from each other? So the basic underlying premise here is that why don't we create a mobile-based app that all of you will have access to? You download it, and it'll help you with your work on the field. So that is the premise of this. But I'd like it to be crowdsourced in the sense that you help us evolve it. So this is probably the very first start at that idea. Okay. I'm going to put my ICT camera. No, it's not going to be about ICT. <laughs> the key thing is not really about ICT. ICT is just a tool. What I'm thinking about is basically trying, can you just kill the lights, it's possible? Yeah. And for the, this one. Yes, yes. Press the button on the screen to your right. Here you go. The, 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 I see you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, then I'll come back. Edward, you dropped it. All right, all right. Okay, so the idea basically is talking to my colleagues and, you know, looking at all of this. Um, vast amount of information that we've had to absorb over the last uh, 14 days almost. Is it 14 or 4 years? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's clear to me that some of it is relevant in the immediacy of the work we do on the field, and a great deal of it is not relevant to the extent to which we can actually apply it. A lot of it is theoretical. So the question now becomes, how do we create a system whereby we have the information we require at our fingertips. And I suggest, oh, the, the idea is really to work jointly to create a series of applications that you can download and reside here. Graphically speaking, wouldn't it be great to be able to look at this mm -hmm. on your handheld? Mm -hmm and tap and, and point and touch any of these things mm -hmm. and it involves you deeper and deeper mm -hmm. into mm -hmm. some kind of analytical framework that provides you with all the background information that will be required for you to do this, the strategy, mm -hmm. B, the transmission, this, the political diagnosis and analysis, mm -hmm. and the political will. Would it be something that would be useful, you think? Mm -hmm. Show of hands. <laughs> I think it would be useful, but I think it needs to be combined with sort of uh, unknown dialogue. Absolutely. I don't know if uh, to which you had that in mind, but that was the first thing I, I thought you had in mind when you would describe your idea that it was more like a, uh, an ongoing chat room where we can throw <coughs> things in and say we're facing this and that challenge and then ask our... Well, it's actually, it's yeah, spot on it all. Is, is that, and some more, is that with, uh, with price, actually, in terms of the ideas? Um, um, Pali talked about a portal, right? But the portal is really the back end of it. I want us to consider the prospect of creating, assuming this is your,
your mobile phone. Okay? I want us to consider the prospect of three layers of knowledge that will supply They are one. The idea is to be able to have an app that deals with layer one. And layer one, I come to my little notes here, and this is where I need your, your input in terms of describing what you think is relevant to you. Layer one would be something along the lines of uh, something that immediately gives you one, ready templates, yeah? So that's the template right there, okay? And these templates, of course, will be hyperlinked uh, behind them. So the moment you touch them, it takes you to, okay? And then the ability to use this tool by A, by sectors. So if your reform is in energy, you can go back to energy. If it's in um, power, if it's in water, if it's in whatever reforms. So sectorially, you have a direct link to a body of knowledge that deals with all the aspects of strategic communications that are relevant to that particular sector. Some of it, of course, cross-cutting, but this one specifically hones in on the really key issues that you have to deal with. Does anybody find that relevant? Yeah. Okay, good. I do. You do? No. Okay. Because um, I'm just thinking, um, my brother is a, a, a professional chef, and he's just developed an app. And uh, you know, I was we were discussing you know what app should do, and I, I was going in like like you, I was going into all this kind of you know high end stuff of, of you know um, vision, and, and and he said no 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 I'm going to do an app that would actually um, count the cost of the restaurateurs to count the cost of the plate of the food, and that helps them to budget. So, how much do peas cost? How much is one pea, one frozen pea versus one fresh pea? How much is salmon versus... It was really like nuts and bolts, basic. To me, if I'm looking for something, you know, I'm, I'm trying to build a, let's say, in, in the cyber law, in the, in the issue of, you know, I want to get uh, the Iraqi government to pass a, uh, a law, if they have to pass a law, a law about cybercrime because that's what they want to do. So I have to try and intervene to make sure that cybercrime law does not criminalize Facebook users or whatever. This is not going to help um, because I've already got my templates and my ideas and my experience and you know I've got those which evolve over time and change. So I'll go in there and I'll think, okay, I remember that funny diagram that we had about stakeholders and you know, the one, one corner, okay, but it's changing here because every internet sector is not the same in every country and there's different stakeholders. So what would be, for me, an app would be something really nuts and bolts. We know with, with just like, okay, um, I, don't, I can't even think, in, in law, would be, what are the, in, in freedom of information laws, what are the main sections of the freedom of information law? The beautiful thing about what you just described is that we have the ability to do exactly what you're doing, right? If your particular sector is so germane to whatever it is you do, right, you now have the ability to link to other people that have the expertise. But the front face of it is to be as simple as possible. The reason why I said sectorially because everybody else does work in various sectors. So that if your sector is a different kind of sector, is an, is an opportunity for us to now start finding how we can help you. But get why do I need an app to do that? Well, why because, because, because I'll give you an example. It, there are two things you said. One was dynamic, that the knowledge base is constantly shifting and changing, true. And you now said also something about, uh, okay, well, if I was going to do the stakeholders analysis, I'm going to do, I remember that cross thing. And I'm going to, well, it's because you need to remember that cross thing. It's not just a cross thing. There's a methodology to it, right? And what we're trying to do is create a template that tells you that this is exactly what you need to do. So it's not subject to the whims of, oh, I remember that cross thing vaguely. No. It's a professional product that focuses on the bolts and the nuts and the mechanics of delivering, designing, 
uh, strategic communications. Okay? The other part about the knowledge base will be answered in the other layers. This is the first layer of knowledge. Well, I why do I need an app for this if I've, got, I've already got the documents on my computer? Well, because you need an app because A, mobility is right there in your phone. Okay. Okay? I can take it with me anywhere I want to go to. The moment I'm having conversations, okay, wow, that stakeholder's analysis thing, what exactly does it look like again? It's there. The beauty about this contraption that we call a phone is that it gives you access to the Library of Alexandria. Otherwise, you might have to go somewhere else, you have to read up to get to the point. But that is the point. I mean, I welcome the design. We're still designing. Let me just lay out all the sectors. Okay. If you have any doubts, if you have any more contributions, just let me lay it out and you can add a subtract. The other thing I was thinking would be roadmaps. Roadmaps, sectors, and a roadmap to how to get to where we need to go to in terms of the communication strategy. The third thing would be the receive would be analysis and in a sense analytics, but more analysis. How do I do my stakeholder analysis? How do I get a sense of how this particular sector has been addressed before? Okay, then the fourth thing is. The M and E. How do I do all the matrices for monitoring and evaluation? So that is just a raw <coughs> template. This is first layer of knowledge, right? Okay. So as you can see, the two-way street. You also contribute to your own case studies, your own experience. The second layer has to do with um, knowledge over the last 10 days, right? Okay? It's easy to have it on a site somewhere where you can go, but you're not really going to go to that site and look at it. Why? Because there's no thematic connection to the work at hand. It means you have to now sift through all of the stuff you learned, right? Okay? To get to where you, you seem to have a, a job. Oh, no, no. You know, uh, my, I mean, it's just because I think that if I'm wrong, just Okay, I'm going to <laughs> see, see uh, my, my, my idea, what, the understanding I got from you was that I thought this was something like a first thing as it were. Like you are somewhere and then. Uh, it is that, but that, that's the first layer. Uh, Edward, Edward, that's the first layer here. That's why uh -huh. there are three layers. You have the very first layer of uh, three layer knowledge base. You have this. This is your first point of attack. Am I not? Sorry? Maybe you need to just present the whole thing and then we can, because I think a lot of our questions are. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. All right. The last one, the fourth. Uh, Emily. Emily. Um, Emily. <laughs> so, under this, you can also build an expert system and case studies. So it's, it's possible that all of the uh, books that were requested, the curriculum, all of that can be buried here as your second level of attack. If this is not sufficient for you and you need something specific, you should be able to go into there and say, okay, are there any case study for the legal sector reform you're talking about? Okay, all right. So again, two-way street. The third layer will really be all those wonderful conferences that we're not invited to. That uh, the people from the World Bank and the Allenberg people get to go to. And the UN people. So it'll be research. It'll be research. Meet meetings. I think there's a third part of it. And the whole com, uh, communications, com gap uh, ecosystem. There's a whole, I mean, I've been a member of that, so I get the links occasionally. Very interesting case studies, right? But it'd be interesting to be able to link this directly. 
Okay, so again, all right, so this is basically the idea. You have an app as a delivery mechanism, as a delivery device. I like, it, it always reminds me of uh, something I read about tobacco, where one, at one time when some of the uh, papers were leaked from the tobacco industry, they described uh, cigarettes as a nicotine delivery device. It does deliver nicotine, right? So think about this as a knowledge delivery device, your handheld. And then the back end is all the good stuff. But all of this can only happen if we design it. That's why I'm hoping that it's going to be over the various iterations of the digital, a user-generated knowledge base. What do you actually need? And the question I always want to ask, for instance, that of all the topics we had all the time over the last nine days, what are the six most relevant slides? What are the six most important presentations that have a direct function and relevance to your practice back home? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it's okay. unanimous. Uh, yeah. I have two questions. Sure. I think what I need is to repeat this course uh, at least once a year. Both to um, solidify, consolidate the knowledge and, and the network. And secondly, I am, I mean, a lot of this information I imagine could be made available uh, in the uh, website where we've already posted our future scenarios and with the sophistication of handheld devices today, you could find it there. So I don't see it down the end of the application. Okay. Uh, I agree okay. that, I mean, there are a couple of templates that would be nice to have at hand. For instance, today when we were doing our uh, strategic communication strategy, uh, and yesterday we were like, okay, uh, the stakeholder map, you know, it would be nice to have something put into throw but that's in the exactly, name. That's so exactly on. what this seeks to. This is not to the exclusion of all that exists before. This is an and, it's not either or. Yeah, but I don't the see, reason why, the I don't see why that cannot be provided at well, the whole website. Well, by show of hands, how many people think <laughs> that, yeah, very simple. It's an idea, it's been tossed out. I think that before we would, we would be put in the unfair situation of having to raise our hands. Yes. Is it? <laughs> 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 I'm not going to say people should raise hands, then yeah, you don't worry about it. I think that we, I, my, and I think we can polish that bit. My, my home, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you are the place where, let's say you're in the beach, uh, and really you can't, get the information, but you just want to have some discussion with a group of people who will have to do your work for you. <laughs> so quickly, you go there and then you have some key things. Maybe it just refreshes your mind as to, you know, as to how to go about it. But if you are in the comfort of your office, seriously speaking, and you want to really do any serious work, you don't need an app to do that. You should be able to go to the relevant websites, get a re relevant literature, and see what I can guide you in trying to implement what you want to do. So I thought that at the first stage that you have, it gives you just some simple, when you just click, it gives some simple, simple tools that you have. Okay, I start getting simple worried tools. when the issue of uh, the, uh, what do you call it, case, the, uh, case study, the research worker. But, but then, uh, I that's why this is the first, there are three levels, that's why there are three layers. Right? Think of it as an onion, right, okay? If layer one suffices for the, for the job I done, that's fine. Yeah, so that's what but what is important is to understand that it's a continuum of knowledge, right? Mm -hmm. Because all of this is always changing. It's that, like she said, it's always dynamic. There are new ideas coming in, there are new methods, and new processes, there are new paradigms that may or may not be relevant to whatever it is you do. But it would be great to be able to understand them. You can look at the case study and say, well, this is relevant, but not so relevant to my situation. What I'm proposing is very simple. Just harnessing technology that already exists, to be able to provide a set of tools. Think of this, right? As I'll come to you in a second. You, you, and you, and then you. Think of it as a toolbox that you have, right? The analogy that comes to mind is we've been giving all of this, this huge toolbox of tools, right? In terms of knowledge across everything else. But sometimes in the field, what you're looking for is a size 14 spanner to be able to make that twist, right? And you open your toolbox, and you have a hundred tools, spanners, wrenches, and everything else. This provides, and that's why it's important for you to have an input in the design. This provides 
the particular tool you require for that particular, nothing fancy. It just tells you that, okay, for my stakeholder analysis, I want to draw these two crosses, and these are the, this is the methodology. Right, for water sector reforms that people are looking at. Typically, and there are lots of case studies that deal with different sectors. So if you're doing something on uh, land in Frilaria, okay, we now have a case study. Who are the people who are most likely to object to reform support? You already have a sense of that. You don't have to think through it. What it just does, it gives you the boxes so you can fill in the boxes, right, and come to some kind of a reasoned outcome. It's a toolbox, right? that just resides on your phone. And because it's downloaded, it means that you don't have to have internet access all the time. It just tells you exactly what you think you can do with it. I'd like to set back one step. Uh, maybe easier for you because you have a more solution to develop this kind of uh, application for uh, as a uh, And, uh, but uh, I think for me, for example, I don't understand very well uh, the advantage of these uh, applications. And, uh, for example, the internet, it's the uh, iCloud, uh, something like that, that already exists, and then we can do some uh, data in the test, and we will make a where, where you look at the, yeah, yeah. the uh, Yes, but no, there are two, two, again, this is one of those uh, cases of multiple realities here. We go back to the Nigerian problem about how the earth moves slowly for different people. There's certainly assumptions about it. If you work for the World Bank, you already have the body of knowledge. There's internet access where it is. You, you have the knowledge. But if you're not in that space, mm -hmm. right, you don't have any access to uh, the internet all the time, I have my little um, black book of work I've done in communication, all of my stakeholder analysis, documents I've downloaded, and I go back to it, right? But what I thought would be important was because we have all of this information, how do we order it to the point where, at the point of use, we have a toolbox that provides us with the toolkits that we ourselves define. It's not top down. You would decide which of the sectors is well trying to you and build the case for it. I'm sure there's knowledge that deals with law, whatever it is that is in, of, of interest to you. The idea is to be able to create the mechanical bits that makes it possible for you to use it. And we also have to be very careful about how we, we think that the rest of the world works. In my own experience, in my own experience, it'd be nice to be able to have it. I don't have the access to the body of knowledge that the World Bank has read me. That is part of the cost of your daily operation. Okay? Um, you have a... Yes, um, there are some issues that we want to raise. One of them is, I think, by and large, that is a good idea. But I also think, if it's going to be done, where is it going to be limited to mobile devices? Why can't we do it so that you can access it with a laptop? Oh, oh, by, by definition, yeah. that is true. That, that is, uh, that is the given. Of mobile devices. That's the given. The reason why mobile devices is because the last mile is with you all the time. Okay. I don't really see mobile devices being able to. Well, um, I've always been a little bit of using mobile devices when I am working with a large document because it causes strain to the eyes. And so putting it on the laptop, uh, to me, would be a lot better. Okay. But the other issue I want to talk about, important, is that the entire idea gives room for one to walk around what you consider to be important, and then to put the things you consider not to be important in the background. A lot would depend on the architecture. And the, the well, without question, the and then um, you told us about this. Who is going to take over? Who is going to sponsor? That's an idea. Who is going to be responsible for this? The World Bank or the United well, Nations? Well, let's we'll we'll get to that. We'll we'll get to that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think he has already he has some experience with. Uh, I, I yeah. No. What the reason why I showed you that video was to tell you that yes, it is possible to create tools that have a relevant and real. And apart, apart from creating the tool, somebody would have to. At least I 
you hear that in administrators. The question I want to ask you is that all of the intellectual knowledge we have, where is it reported now? All of this stuff that we that means we'll have somebody on the board. Yeah, the layer, the layer three thing is, remember I was, I was joking about all the research that goes on in the academic sphere that deals with strategic communication. There's a whole body of knowledge already. You have access to it already as it is through the through the website, okay? So the, to take to specifically answer your question, yes, it's going to be based. It's going to be web based. You can download it, whatever. You can skip layer one and go to layer three, right? The whole idea is really to integrate a value chain of knowledge and sift out from the big, complex research stuff, winnow it out through an expert system to the point where it's actually practical for you. So if I ask again by show of hands, how many people, out of all the classes we've had, how many, how many of those classes were actually relevant to your experience and what you want to do? Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, for me you have initiated a very good discussion. I was thinking that based on even already the I think all of us are put up to each other, isn't it? Am I right? Mm -hmm. Are we all put up to each other? I don't know. If I said it, everyone will be able to do it. Last Saturday. I never got anything. No, your email was wrong. We kept that. They were wrong when you yeah, we need to guess, we need to sort that out before we leave this place to be sure that this were all booked up. That if I send a mail, I'm sure it gets to everyone. Yeah. I think yeah. that's your email. Yeah. So my email is my proposal. My proposal was that. So my proposal was that maybe as part of uh, continuation, but I don't see this end in terms of this looking at the concept. The concept we have to think about what it is. It is just the details that seem to be different from one person to another. Was it possible that um, maybe the course of the week, if you could get that into this and, and pass it around, people who have ideas. Obviously, one thing I'm very sure is that I'm not, I can't develop an app, so I don't have that time. But I'm very good at criticizing. <laughs> so, concept testing. Yeah. Bring it so, concept testing. So, so, so that we'll find a way of discussing it. Trust me, if we look at this and then we toss this idea around, yeah. by next year, it will be one of the things the uh, facilitators will use. Yeah. That look, we have an app that looks like this. And this should not be limited to only uh, with the trainees who are here, but also the resource persons who came to have ideas to see whether we can have an input. That is the proposal I'm putting in this. I don't know. That's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, you, I am your lowest common denominator. I am the person who is least convinced by this. Yes, Minister. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so the only way I would even consider considering this would be that is if it involved cats and if it involved games. So. If you had a game like called the cats. Herding Cats, which is what we're all trying to do when we're trying to persuade people, and it's outputs oriented, it's not about processes and systems, because I don't want to know about how the swan swims, I just want to see the swan swim from the surface, I don't need to know what the legs are doing. So all of that other stuff I don't need to know, but I would be engaged if it was as we did when we were discussing this morning, we were going round and round and round and round about what to do and what to do. And I said, listen guys, well, yesterday, yes, we've got to focus on our outputs because we've got to, the deadline to produce something. So the output is, you have a, a, a thing that says, right, you've got to herd cats from point A to point B and you've got to persuade those cats to jump into the water to do so. Your output, your communication strategy to get those cats to swim across the lake. And then you have to look at your stakeholders and, and you, you actually have to do this process. And then you come out with a communication strategy, and the cats have already been programmed whether or not to, you know, if you haven't, if you haven't consulted with all of the cats, then there's going to be a tom going off and marking in the bushes, and all the cats are going to run that way, or something like that. So that you're actually producing an output, but having to use the theory, but without knowing that you're using the theory. Then I might consider it. That's interesting. I put uh, another opportunity there, gamify the, the process, make it fun. That's also, not I wouldn't, I wouldn't yeah. look at it. Make, turn it into a game. 
in yeah. which the outputs are predictable. Yeah. So there are different interfaces. You're talking about user interface issues. For some, some people might want a much more formal interface, but you can choose that. If you want to play games, cats, and you get to the same result, because it's a very visual way of actually organizing the, the, the process. So it opens itself up to all kinds of innovative uh, um, outcomes. Yes? Yeah, I was just thinking, because we only have downloaded stuff on this, it looks like an organizer to me. Mm -hmm. like it's yeah. like whether you see the first cat and then go to the second cat and then go to the third cat, <laughs> or they have them all together in one place. For okay. example, you will not want to go from layer 1 to layer 2 and then layer 3. Why you want to do something from layer 1? And then something on the three. Okay. So this will make it much more involved. Okay. What, what I said here was you have ready templates, right? And you have sectors, right? And all of these are hyperlinked. What it means is that it takes you from one to the other, depending on how far down that rabbit hole you want to go. Your work might just be here, right? But what's important is there's already, all of this exists already. All of this exists already. So we're not creating anything new. All we're doing is just linking, up, linking it up in a more creative, imagine, imaginative, practical, and purposeful way. And you know, the, the technology is there. But what is missing, and that's what we're getting here somehow, is the group participation in the design process of this. Because you're going to be ultimately using it. If you want full participation, you have to squint your ears. Yes. <laughs> and, um, I, I, I would agree with Jackie that I would need something more dynamic. And I, I think there's a temptation to, you know, we feel we have learned a lot and uh, we, we certainly have, but there's so much information and how we're going to use this. And for me, it's uh, having the, the mapping of all the information is, is very tempting. And I think this is, uh, this goes in that direction. But for me, that's, that's, it's a trap because it's not going to, it's not really going to help me when I, in my, in consolidating these skills. And, and like I said in the beginning, what I need is kind of a, a really a chat room where we stay in touch <laughs> and where there's a trusted virtual environment where we can share some of the challenges we're facing. Even, you know, it can be shorter things that are more like, I'm having this meeting coming up, which is going to be critical to reach, achieve a certain output, and this is the context. Can you give me some advice, guys? You know, I, uh, remind me what it is I have to remember now. That kind of uh, collegial um, consultation and support would be great. And it could be bigger things like, uh, you know, I've now been asked to do a communication strategy for this project, which is about so and so. Uh, I propose this. Do you have other ideas? You know, give me some, some feedback. Because then you get to use the tool and we can remind ourselves that it's much more an exchange and it's like a classroom, uh, which I think has been uh, one of the key um, added values of, of this course is that there's so much knowledge in the room, apart from what we're getting from the instructors. So uh, I'm not sure I would use this so much. Maybe the templates to do my work, but then I would like to have this the space where I know I'm, I'm immediately linked up with, with the people who have had the same uh, experience and who I trust. Well, I think, I think uh, and I'm squinting with both ears now, I think that exists already in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the portal that exists, right? We, we can post questions, you can... Yeah, all, all that exists. to make sure people actually enter the space. Well, that, that, that's the key. And, and my own experience, you know, I've been to meetings, we promised we go to my old school board association. Nobody ever goes into that, those chat rooms, really, over on the sustained basis. It's usually one or two people who keep the conversations going. That, that's been my own experience. I don't know if it's the same for most people, right? So this is not really an either or proposition. This is a value add to say, in addition to whatever else exists, how can we create a value chain of knowledge, right, in escalating order, right, to the point where if this is where you want to be, research meetings, fine. But if you want a tool, a template that gives you just a rough, this is a wonderful illustration of what I'm talking about. This. Wouldn't it be great to be able to have this, okay, what do I need to do for strategy? Okay, foresight. Okay, you click on that. Okay, how, how do I describe political will? It's an interactive thing. I click on that and it gives you just the, temp the, the descriptions of what a political wheel is, what, what, is what is important. 
Oh, by the way, this also has to deal with your stakeholder analysis. There's another part that tells you, well, you have to the people you have to be fighting to integrate to whatever it is you're doing. So when I talk about the template, it's exactly what it is. It's a template that gives you access to pre-existing and pre-ordered body of knowledge. As a practical tool, I keep going back to what I think it is. It's a tool in a toolbox that gives you the tools that you can use on the field. I think my proposal is still fun. I think that even in this group, yes, we are all leaders by many of our own activities and many of our But I was just uh, talking with SK about it. But I think that officially, we, some people have come out naturally amongst us as leaders. I mean, even in some of the activities we do. Some of you uh, you you you've always taken up some leadership roles and that. You know, there are some leadership roles in some of these things that we do. I would propose again, based on that's an amendment to my initial proposal, <laughs> is it, that um, we should immediately start this conversation. Personally, for me, the networking here is something that I'm looking at. Most of these things, at the end of the day, if we go and sit down properly behind our text, we will be able to read and understand them. The question is, how do we put this into practice? Because, trust me, it is not the vocal who would, if we were to conduct an exam, not the vocal will pass this exam. There are some people who may not really just sit down and the community strength, they will just sit down and read it and, and write it and you will like it. As to how to translate that into practical action is another issue. And that is the reason why we are all here. We are here because of the dollar capacity to be able to implement these theories into practice. So I would suggest that if it is possible, the reason uh, to don't shake your head. That you, you, you guys should take up this thing. And we, we should toss the idea around, in addition to all the networking issues that we are doing. So at the end of the day, we see how it comes out. You know, sometimes when you are about the old Chinese saying is that the journey of thousands begins with one step. When you want to start a step, it looks a bit easy. But as you move on, things get clearer and clearer as we go. That is a proposal I've made. So that the manipulation works? <laughs> <laughs> but but he I, has a question, sorry. Yeah, uh, um, I would be very interested if the application would work on iPad. Because basically, for me, I bought an iPad because I was tired of using on my library. And I think that if we have um, if you have this kind of information, I mean, on the on the yeah on, on the on the phone for me it's not like large enough or something that I'm going to use as easily as I would use on my iPad first. And second, I would be very interested by an application that would give me, the, as you say, the tools and the summary because I remember, at, like each lecturer who came here had a, a way to, even if it was complementary, to look at things. And uh, some talk about the, the, the cap model, this model. The, and this is, these are ways, different ways to tackle the problems or the issues. But I just don't remember where they are in my 200 <laughs> pages. And I'm just like, my, I'm forcing my brain to remember. And I'm just like, come oh. on. So I, I was thinking, I'm going to look over and write down where is what instrument and where I can find it. Because I just don't want, if they, they, they get a different ways of looking at the issues. And um, yeah, at, at least, I don't know if you need an app for that, but you need to be able to know. Because the information on the website is organized by deck, not by subjects, not by theme. So you don't have to, not by instruments, so you can I have to go in every day to look at the instrument, and not only ours, they are the course of last year and the year before. So I'm just like, my God, it's too much information to look for. Each, to look for. Okay. So. Can I just respond yeah, to Ed, who yeah, yeah. proposed that I take the UNS, mm -hmm. but I'm not you know, ready to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I would be the one person. All right. Um, I'm concerned by the conspiracy of silence of the World Bank. So I think we should we should have um, 
Uh, the conspiracy. So there was one you want back in to think about this idea. Okay. Well, I'm sure Kami is here, yeah. Annenberg is there, so they have the last one. All right, so this is a virtual I just want to show you guys one uh, illustration. And I was, the reason why I thought it was relevant because uh, Edward spoke about cognitive uh, 